Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will be learning uh, one very interactive and useful visual uh, that is the word cloud from Microsoft uh, Power BI App Store. Uh, we will import that visual in, in our this dashboard and uh, I will explain you that how it is important to have word cloud in your uh, dashboards uh, which is interactive as well. Uh, first, uh, I have just imported one Excel file to this Power BI desktop version and in which I have three columns in my database that is location, year and additional comments. And uh, we will be importing or you can say adding one visual which is word cloud from the uh, apps, app source. Uh, of Microsoft Power BI for that to access this marketplace or you you can say that app source uh, you need to uh, make sure that your Microsoft Power BI desktop version is login uh, from your official account so at this point of time I'm using my company uh, email address which is power bi dot dashboards at excelbasement.org so you need to make sure that you have login uh, with your uh, Power BI cloud account and once you have login in uh, what you can do is for adding the word cloud visual and, and Microsoft Power BI user you might be know that the app source is now increasing day by day the visuals are now being adding uh, day by day by the Microsoft and we have now more than 250 plus uh, interactive and dynamic visuals available so what to do in order to add this visual is click on from app source also you can create your own custom visuals and uh, import within this Microsoft Power BI application as well so when you click on that you will uh, you will have this window power bi visuals from here you can see on the left side you have different categories and we have very fantastic awesome community contribution uh, in terms of uh, making available of all these uh, visual of objects okay so for specific to this video we need a word cloud and you can see on on this main screen uh, you will find word cloud on the second position if you don't find word cloud just type in the search bar and click on this magnifier in order to uh, in order to search this visual so once you got the word cloud click on add button and uh, remember that these more than 250 visuals are absolutely free of cost you can import uh, in in your power bi desktop version so now it says that import custom visual the visual was successfully imported into this report so now here you can see a, a small cloud and w uh, icon here word cloud 2.0.0 now when it, it's very important to understand first that when we are required to use this word cloud visual in our power bi uh, dashboards okay uh, in, in my uh, experience, uh, let me share one example on, on one of my client, which was based uh, uh, from, from a department called the HR. And in the HR, we, we generally have one sub department, which is called learning and development and training and development. So training and development is responsible uh, entirely for conducting the training programs, the mentoring programs, coaching programs for the employees. Uh, available in the organization right so once they start conducting the training programs for from various uh, trainers on various different location and days they they got the feedback form from the participants and the participants write uh, their comments about the program at the end of that program and uh, they hand over that manual filled feedback form to the to the responsible person of that HR department sometimes uh, as I have also observed that few organizations take their feedback forms digitally or online through Google Forms or any other internal app based application on SharePoint or any other portal web portal so they have the collection of all the comments from various trainings from all the participants and some and we have a lot of employees we, we know that we have thousands of employees in the organization so uh, on on each quarter or yearly basis we, we get get a lot of response from the participants about how to improve the training program or some participants have given their positive feedback or, or the neutral or the negative feedback about the program so uh, when collecting that program 
uh, that additional comments from from various training programs uh, that HR person is responsible to present a presentation either on PowerPoint or any other application to the HR to the head of department that uh, these were the training programs and and these are the uh, highly considerable comments from the participants on various training programs so so they need to create a presentation for that but th but this needs a lot of uh, manual and hard work uh, by that employee to uh, filter all these comments and if few organizations are taking the feedback form manually by handwritten so they first need to make it digital uh, or and they usually use Microsoft Excel for that and after collecting and making all those uh, uh, handwritten comments to the digital form uh, you know that data entry is very hectic job painful area for that particular person so for example, if he got 1,000 comments for last three years, different training programs from the participants, so it takes two, three days to just feed that manual uh, comments from to to the digital form in Excel, and then uh, making it uh, and showing it a picture in a form of dashboard to the head head of department. So so it takes three to four days of activity, and e each month uh, that employee uh, goes from this painful area. So if the organization is all set to about that they have the they have created a best practice uh, that they take feedback form and comments from each of the participant digitally either on google forms or any other kind of an application so they easily extract that comments and import that file into the power bi and here we can just add the word cloud and and in the word cloud we will have uh, some of the high highly significant words which are repeating in numbers according to their sizes and we can just click on those words and the data will be filtered out so so our painful area definitely get minimized from these kind of features and available visuals in the bi tools so that's the situation which i shared from my experience uh, there can be more examples there can be more practical usage of word cloud as well not just enough in, in the example of hr but also once you have a very contextual data and you need to just pick out some of the significant words highlighted data out of that you can apply word cloud in that kind of situation as well right and also if you see the data on my screen we, I just have three columns uh, to record this video purpose so location year and additional comments you can also add practically we have the uh, columns like the name of that employee the employee number uh, the department name the location right so we have multiple columns to that database and definitely we need a column which is called additional comments so that we can uh, improve the programs later on next year uh, for that employee or for that specific departments so quickly i will be just coming to the uh, practical part in this video is to uh, have the word cloud on this canvas so i will just click on this word cloud button and as you can see this blank object which is the word cloud is being just shown on my screen I, I'm just resizing it and what I need to do is I will just drag the additional comments field on top of this visual okay and here now you can see that a lot of words has been shown on this visual for example you will see some words very large in size and some words are very small in size now why is is it so this is very a simple logic uh, if you can see the good the and training session excellent uh, these words are big in size as compared to other words because these words are the most repetitive words in all those comments column so we have around more than 800 night 900 comments here and in this column these specific words have been repeatedly used by the users okay so the word will be shown bigger because it has been uh, used by many of the participants so if i just hover uh, my cursor on the word it says 250 times has been used if on training 101 times 101 times excellent 58 times so you can see on this tooltip a uh, good word has been used 92 times right so they have the significant importance in terms of getting that how the feedback has been come from the participants so most of the uh, participants are saying that it's good it's excellent one more thing if you observe that in this word cloud we have few words which are not 
important for example the word is not important to word is not important uh, and is not important but okay so so the articles or or the uh, or any other grammar grammar words are not highly important to be shown in this word cloud we need to have some positive words um, or or the management side words to be included in this word cloud so what we can do is uh, we can just click on this format bar and here first uh, let's explore that what kind of available properties are available for this specific visual so we have data colors um, if i just expand this data colors so we can see that each of the color has been assigned or each of the comment has assigned a different color uh, we can't do setting for that at now a uh, stop words for example now as you can see uh, as i told you that and is not the proper word to be shown in this visual so we need to exclude that so what we can do is we can add this word in the stop word so if i write and here and press enter so you can see that the and now is invisible is not included the and has been excluded from this visual so that other words would make adjustment according to that repetitive number has been come in the comments column uh, the, the is also not been the best fit for this visual so i need to exclude that so what i can do is i will write comma space the and i will press enter so now the word has been also included right um, okay so so you can make a list of 40 to 50 inappropriate words and you can paste that list here so all those inappropriate unnecessary words will be excluded from here and your visual will get revised and you will see only positive words or the neutral words as well right uh in in the performance uh this is again the count and the quality okay and the journal tab what we have now uh, this is very interesting minimum number of repetition is what maximum number of words now uh, in this specific visual you are seeing 200 words but you want to limit you you just need to see top 50 words which which have been come in that additional comments column on the on the data so what you can do is you can write 50 here and press enter so now you can just see the list of 50 top words uh, and you can now getting an idea that a uh, good has been repetitive most time so when i click on good the data will be filtered here okay now this was the uh, just uh, a kind of go through for this uh, word cloud visual and and it will be dynamic when i just resize it it will adjust accordingly to uh, the height and width okay now what we can also add to this visual is if on our dashboard we will add some more uh, objects like slicers for example we have a year category and when i click on year and i will transform this column chart into the slicer and i want the slicer as a drop down or list okay so when i click on 2018 the words will change okay the 2019 the words will change because it's now filtering out it's interactive these both two objects are now interactive and more than that what we can do is for example when i click on training so i need a, a table here which which only filters those comments in which the training word has been used okay so what i can do is i will just drag this additional comments field here and um, is it's by default is in a table format we can uh, do apply some formatting styles just like we can change the background color for that uh, because in this short video i'm not not doing any formatting things uh, you can do it later on at your end uh, but just to giving giving you an idea how we can do that uh, you can change the background color you can increase the font size or the style you want uh, for example if i can just increase the font size text size okay so now you can see the text size increase now for example when i click on good so in 2019 all those comments have been filtered in which the good word has been used so you can also cross check see the first comment the good word is included in this paragraph uh, the good word is also included in the second paragraph 
so this is how you can just click on any specific word and comments will be filtered out so if you are seeing some neutral or negative words you can just filter that and you can filter all those comments and if you have in your database if you have the employee names and the list and the department names you can also mm, uh, drill down further more uh, to make sure that you contact that employee later on so that what kind of issues he or she faced during the sessions so you can do further analytics to that so this is how word cloud is being very important visual uh, when it comes to uh, the textual columns in your database so i hope you like this video do share it thank you